Here we go! Hey, what's up, Blue Blurs? This is your boy Blake, proud chief of the Blue Blurs, presenting you with another Sonic video. As in this video, we are returning to Sonic Robo Blast 2 to continue our showcase of the extra stages. Up until now, we've been focusing primarily on the challenge stages, which are these stages right here, Haunted Heights, Arrow Garden, and Azure Temple. You unlock these after you've beaten the story campaign, and then by beating one after another, you unlock the next one until you finish all of them. But now we got the bonus stages, which are completely unrelated to the challenge stages, as you unlock these by collecting the emblems that you'll find primarily in the first and second acts of every zone. The third act, there's still technically emblems, but those are related to the time and score attack mode that you get by going to, um, I believe it was record attack, that's right. So, you gotta get enough emblems to get all of these along with the extra special stages, funnily enough. I've never tried those yet, and I'm excited to do so, but first, we're gonna worry about these, or as many of these as we have to worry about first, because as you can see, I haven't unlocked all the bonus stages yet. I still gotta get more emblems for that. But for now, we're gonna go ahead and jump into the Pipe Tower Zone. And if you haven't noticed from the thumbnail, it's basically the Mushroom Kingdom, but in the Sonic framework. We've even got the Goombas coming over here to tell us, hey, what's up, buddy? You want something? Oh, wait, no. We got a problem with you. Come over here. I don't think so, pal. Nah, uh, uh you can go away. Screw that. You know what I can do that Mario can't do? I can actually roll into you guys and take you out. So there! Well, um, that's true up until Super Mario Odyssey. Then Mario can actually roll. What is he now, Sonic? <laughs> you might have heard it very often, though, about, um, Mario being better than Sonic, or Sonic being better than Mario. Um, a typical result of a 90s console war that ultimately Mario would win, because the Sega, uh, Sega Dreamcast ultimately failed, which really sucks! I constantly imagine what a Dreamcast 2 would look like today. But that's a discussion for another time. We're gonna worry about this stage first. And we got these warp pipes right here. These work mechanically differently than how you would expect. Either they'll lead you to underground tunnels like that one down there that I've never seen before. Uh, take a look at this. Wow. And, um... When you uh, hit these blocks, they will give coins, which basically double as rings in the Sonic framework. And can we break these blocks? No? Wait a minute! Yo! Sonic sound effects have been replaced by Mario sound effects, but Speed Dock now has a fireball sound effect. What the heck? I just wish you could break these blocks. I probably should have taken Knuckles. Maybe he could have solved this problem, but nope. I just had to stick to Sonic. But come on, he's my heart and soul. You can't blame me, can you? <laughs> um, okay, we can, we can actually come up here and pick up these coins. Yo, these clouds from the Mario universe? Bruh. I bet it's been constantly asked what a Mario stage would look like in the Sonic framework. And I think there was a Sonic Mania mod that reintroduced the Mushroom Kingdom to Sonic's world, which was... Crazy to see. I never actually played it because I was just getting started checking out the world of modding for Sonic games, starting with Sonic Mania. But it wouldn't be until like, I want to say 2019 that I started showcasing mods. Let me tell you, it's been a fun roller coaster ride. Okay, so what's in here? Yo, a fire flower? But I can't even reach it! What? Wait, maybe we use the stepping stone. Whoa! Yo, look at Sonic! Hold up, hold up. Can you throw fireballs now? Can you throw fireballs? Bruh? No? You can't throw fireballs now. What is this? False advertisement? <laughs> but maybe that's actually a shield. What kind of shield is it, though? I would think the fire shield, but it's not letting me do the air dash. Or producing a ring of fire. It's kind of weird, but maybe we'll figure it out as we go. Come here! Ain't got no room for Goombas in my world, son. Man, to see Mario Sonic intersecting like this is awesome. I still gotta finish the Olympic Games series now that I think about it. I've always said how awesome it is for both their universes to intersect, and yet I never fit any Olympic Games. Probably because sports-based games don't typically hold my attention all that well like games of this style do, but I gotta make an exception. Otherwise, I have no business calling myself a Sonic fan, you know? And another thing that might disqualify me from the status of full-time Sonic fan is that I haven't finished all the IW comics either. I have, like, um, the first nine issues, but never got around to collecting the rest of them. I'm gonna have to fix that. Hopefully, there's a place in my area that sells comic books that I can look into. 
Should be one not too far from the GameStop I go to, but anyway, back to Mushroom Kingdom. I really should have brought Knuckles here. Maybe he could actually break these blocks, because otherwise they're just air. Oh, oh, shoot! Sorry! <laughs> I didn't mean to trigger Super Sonic. That was completely my bad. I typically avoid using him when I do these showcases, so yeah, I'm gonna be right back. Okay, now that my rigs have run dry, we're back to normal, or as close to normal as we're gonna get. Seriously, why bother picking up that flower if I don't get to throw fireballs? What is up with that? Like, am I just missing something here? Can Sonic actually do something with this power-up? And I'm just not realizing it? Maybe I'm going crazy. But it looks like we're getting closer to the aesthetic of World 1-2 rather than World 1-1, as we're underground now. And there are more coins in here, let's pick these up. I can't wait to do a showcase video for Super Sonic though, he looks so cool in this game. Controls really well too. Well, um, when you're used to the, um, to the freedom of the controls in Sonic Robo Blast 2, many have found them to be a little bit too lenient, and it actually cost them, and I can see how that would be the case. Whoa, wait, hold up. Invisible ceiling, we can't go up here, but there's like a, an opening inside there that, um, I can't seem to get to. All right, hold up, hold up. Let me try something. Yeah, grab a spring again. What do you mean, grab spring? You don't grab springs. Ooh. And there's nothing in here. Man, this stage is so trolly. That's not fair. <laughs> um, where to next? Okay, we're going this way. Hey. Okay, what's over here? And again, you gotta be careful, there are bottomless pits. You don't want to go rolling off these cliffs, like, at all. Okay, how many, uh, coins are there? Okay, we got them all. What's over here? Most likely another spring. Or, no! Another tunnel area. This stage is definitely well designed, I'll tell them that. If a little trolley, like I said a bit ago, that's the only part I don't like. Okay. Oh! A switch? Yo! This is taking me back to Super Mario 64 where you had to press the cap switches to get, you know, like, um, the flying cap, the invisible cap, and the metal cap. Nice little callback, guys. When you press this, what happened? Oh, the water level goes up! Oh, no, 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 no! Let me out, let me out, let me out, let me out! Okay, thank God. That spring launch us high enough. That's good. That's good. That's really good. All right, get me back up there. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on! I got a little nervous how floaty that jump was. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> I got a little nervous, but that's okay. We made it out of there. Woo! And what's next? Do we just jump down there? That feels like that feels like the beginning area. Doesn't it? Or is it different? What's over here? What's inside here? Whoa, what's the Oh, the, the power-up star! So we're invincible now! Okay! That's nice! Thank goodness, this day isn't 100% false advertisement! <laughs> ah, shoot. I did not mean to fall all the way down here. But, at the very least, this is not the starting area like I was afraid it was going to turn out to be. That's why I didn't come down here at first, but it isn't. So, we can keep going. Oh, a shell. Oh, you can kick the shell! Oh, man! Um, can you, uh, stop it? Can we roll into it and stop it? Can we roll into it? Okay. Trying to stop it? Come on, Sonic! Sonic! Oh man, forget about it. I'm not even gonna try. I don't want to lose my shield or fire flower or whatever it is that I can't actually use. Mm -mm -mm. But while we're playing to this stage, I want to ask you guys, what's your favorite Mario game, assuming that you like Mario like I do? For me personally, that goes out to Paper Mario The Thousand Year Door, at least Paper Mario series. For the original Mario series, um, boy, that's a good one. Uh, Super Mario Galaxy and Galaxy 2, that's definitely the way to go for me. I flip and love both those games. Galaxy 2 kind of underdelivered in comparison to its predecessor, but I still love it all the same. And I gotta finish that one. The first Galaxy I finished a long time ago, and I was so hyped to see it be re-released in Super Mario 3D All-Stars, along with Mario 64 and Mario Sunshine. I don't know why, but Mario Sunshine, as successful as it undeniably is, didn't really grab my attention like Mario Galaxy did. I wouldn't say it's not a good game, because it is a good game. It's a spectacular game. 
And yet, it doesn't hold me as much as Mario Galaxy, for example, does. I don't really know why that's just how it is. Also, I think we're lost. Did we not go the wrong way? Are we not supposed to go this way? Hmm. Where do we go, then? Bruh, I think we're lost. <laughs> I think we're lost. This is ridiculous. What is this? Okay. Maybe we do need to go this way. Because this is, like, the only way forward. Wait, no. We're going in circles, aren't we? We're going in circles! Bruh! Oh, wait, no, no, no. Hold on. Hold on. Maybe this is what I need to do. Okay, there's some ground up here. That's our one more time. Okay, there it is. There it is. There's, um... A very small tunnel up here. That is probably not going to be the answer to my prayers. But there is a question mark block. Huh? What was that? Sounds like a continue or a Sonic 1-up. One time when I traded all the Mario sound effect for Sonics. But other than that... That was a waste of our time. <laughs> Come on, man. Don't tell me I'm trapped. What is it? I don't know where to go. I'm so lost. Huh? Oh! Oh! Oh, thank God! Oh, thank God! <laughs> I thought I was gonna have to quit the stage and start over because I thought I got soft locked. And then I happened to find that spring. Thank goodness. <laughs> oh my god. It was about to take a turn for the worst. Okay. You jump across this. Come up here. Are we supposed to go to the top of that block tower right there? Could we, uh, come over here? here, and there's a spring right there. So where will it take us? Okay, to the top like I expected, and there's a pipe in here. Whoa! That was a long fall, bro. <laughs> that was a long fall. Wow. Thank God that Sonic does not share one of Mario's drawbacks while he falls from too great a height, he hurts himself. Sonic is a little too light to be hurt by long falls. That is awesome. Benefit of being a Sonic fan. I'm just kidding, though. Remember, I like both Sonic and Mario. Don't take it seriously, please. I never took that whole 90s console war with Sonic and Mario seriously like that. I've always loved both their consoles and their games. Don't know why that's ever a thing, other than, obviously, business competition. That much I get. But from the fans, it's like it was impossible to like both. Back then, you couldn't say that you liked either franchise without being called out for liking both of them. And yeah, that logic is so baloney. Well, it was baloney back then, and it's baloney now. But I digress. Yo, um, we could go over there, but do I want to risk it? I don't think I want to risk it. I'm going to go this way instead. God dang, there are so many pathways to choose from. This is crazy! I don't think we can go... Oh, we can go this way. Let's bring right here. Let me get these guys out of the way first. Ain't nobody got time for you, pizza toppings. Da -da -da -ba -da -da. Da -da 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 -da. Love this remix. The Pipe Tower remix from Mario is. Mm -hmm. I feel you. Oh! Oh, whoa! This transition! Now we're actually in World 1 2. That is crazy! Yo! This is hype! <laughs> Took us long enough to get to this point. Is it gonna be like that with the entirety of World 1, or just the first two stages? And, uh, does this have, like... Now I think about it, I think the bonus stages are two acts long, basically. Aerial Garden was one act long, but it was meant to be two initially when they were designing it. Azure Temple felt like it was definitely only one act long, but Aerial Garden was definitely two. Haunted Heist probably was just one act as a whole package. But if I'm wrong, I'm open to being... Corrected, but what I'm not open to is no, 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 no! Holy crap! Oh man, of course the platforming section will work exactly like it did in the Mario universe. We were so close to getting carried into that death pit. <laughs> I was not ready for that one. <laughs> I should have been, but I'm not. Um. What's in here? Just a coin. Or a ring in this case. I have a rule against calling Sonic rings coins, and yet even Sonic fans still do that. What is up with y'all? Get it right, please! Um... Da -da -da. I get out of my... Ah! Crap! Now I gotta get that fire flower again, and that shouldn't be a problem. There we go. 
Bruh. I did it again. <laughs> you know what? I don't care anymore. Let's keep going. Screw it. I really didn't mean to do it. I wish you could turn off the super form. But actually, I don't think it mattered because we were at the end anyway. And we kept the theme for a pipe tower. Yo, that's what's up. So, um... This didn't turn out as disastrous as I thought it would. I generally abstain from going supersonic for stage showcases, but in this case, we're just fine. We made it through, and that's all that matters. We have finished the pipe tower zone, and that is it for this video. That will do it for the showcase of pipe tower zone. Hope you all enjoyed it. Thank you for watching. And if you enjoyed what you saw, let me know your feedback with those likes and comments down below. And you can also consider subscribing and ringing that bell if you want to keep up with my Sonic content, as that's pretty much all I pump out in this channel nowadays. I'm a Sonic tuber, it comes with a job. So, hope you enjoyed this video, and I will see you all next time. Take care, don't forget, blue blur for life. See you all later. <laughs>